Hi, before we get started, please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to support us, please visit patreon.com forward slash one leg up productions. Also, I'd like to invite you to take this conversation offline in our community Facebook group called Victoriously Living, where we remind each other that we're not victims of our circumstance, but conquerors. Today is the topic about being a person of excellence. Now, one of the most consistent compliments I've received throughout my life is on my handwriting. I think, first of all, they're impressed that I can write, but then when they see my penmanship, they're blown away by the quality of handwriting. And I didn't think much of it because I figured everybody who takes a little bit more time and effort could have nice handwriting. Even my handwriting is messy when I'm in a rush. And it wasn't brought into perspective for me about how important or how significant having nice handwriting is until I met my friend Clifton Anderson. Clifton wrote a book called A Year Wiser and in this book he gives a story of inspiration or empowerment for each day of the year and on my birthday he decided to share our story about how we met and how impressed he was with my handwriting and how he said this is an example of a commitment to excellence and I never thought about it that way being a person of excellence but when I look back on my life and look at everything I produce I try to do it with a commitment to excellence now why is it important to be a person of excellence first of all it shows others what is possible, what can be done, that they too have the potential that lives within them. Second, it opens up opportunities. Opportunities to maybe make more money, to have success, to meet new people. But when people see you as a person of excellence, they want to be near you. It sets you apart from everybody else. Now, how do you be a person of excellence. I came up with four P's. Potential. Be someone who believes in your potential and know and get honest with yourself what's really possible for you. Second, push yourself. And when I say push yourself, I mean stretch and be uncomfortable. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable because that is when you get to realize what you're truly made of. And be persistent. Don't give up. And perform to the best of your ability, no matter how much time and how much effort it takes. Not everything is easy for me. Most things in my life take a bit more time and a bit more energy for the simplest tasks. And yet I am committed to be a person of excellence. I think you too could be a person of excellence and open up opportunities in your life. How do you show your excellence? Are you a person of excellence? And how do you express that? please share with me, comment below, and again, please subscribe and share and join our Facebook group called Victoriously Living. I hope to see you there. Thank you and be excellent.